the most remarkable moment in life it was when you meet that person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a special bond that's so special it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Megan, you look absolutely beautiful, as always. Um, it's hard to believe that we've been experiencing life together for a little over seven years now. These have been the best seven years of my life. I feel lucky for knowing you as long as I have. Our love grew from friendship, and when I think of all the years we've shared, there are many moments I saw my future with you. You are my greatest teammate. You give me balance I didn't know I needed, and you always let me be myself. One of my favorite qualities about you is your love of family, and I'm so thankful for the man your parents raised. But seriously, I'm just truly blessed to call you my best friend, my partner in life, and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You're beautiful, you're kind, passionate, humble, loving, honest, and one hell of a cook. I love everything about you. I love your work ethic. I love how dedicated you are to teaching. I love how, how much you love your family, how important that is to you. I love how from day one, on that first Thanksgiving in 2015, you treated all my family like they were your own. I know that one day, when we have kids, they'll be surrounded with love and I'm so excited for what the future holds. You inspire me with how goal-oriented you are. You never stop learning and always have a new book in the mail each week. I guess that's why you're a perfect match for a teacher. <laughs> I love how you're always pushing me, encouraging me to better myself and reach my full potential. I love that knowing you're going to be an amazing mother one day and I can't wait to grow old with you. I wish that you could have met all my grandparents. Pop up Turner, Grandma, Grandma Chipetta, because I know that they would have loved you. But as Grandma Turner, who you met, always would tell me, James, you got yourself a keeper. <laughs> My promise to you is to continue doing meal prep Sundays as long as you do the dishes. I promise to ride shotgun anywhere you take me. I promise to dance to the amazing Mexican music when we call to order Casamaya takeout. Megan, I promise to be honest, loyal, and respectful. I promise to support your dreams as my own. I promise to care for you when you're sick, laugh with you when you're sad, and carry your worries when you're upset. I promise to fix all the things around the house and make sure it would m get my dad's approval. <laughs> and I promise to ice your legs after 26 miles. Megan, you are strong, thoughtful, compassionate, hilarious, honest, and unconditionally supportive. Megan, you're absolutely stunning. We're so proud of you. I'm sorry. Your accomplishments, of course. During the best, the worst, and the in-between, from sunrise to sunset, pandemics and quarantines, I promise to love and to cherish you. I love you. I promise to be there for you during all of life's moments, the ones that will bring us laughter, and the ones that will cause us tears. I promise to never go through life in front of you or behind you, but always right there beside you. I promise to love you unconditionally. I love you and I cannot wait, wait to spend the rest of my life with you.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Megan and James in the union of marriage. The contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully, seriously, and with deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. James, do you take Megan to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only onto her for forevermore? I sure do. And Megan, do you take James to be your husband? Yes. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only onto him for forevermore. Forevermore I do. That being said, by the power vested in me by the internet and the great state of Florida, it is my honor and pleasure to declare you man and wife. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may now kiss the babe. And for the very first time, I am pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. James and Megan Turner. I've watched you keep your word from that night. You are loving and genuine. You are hardworking and supportive. And most importantly, you never quit on my best friend. Just know, Megan, that I love you dearly and I'm incredibly proud of the amazing woman you've become. There is something in your eyes that leaves me paralyzed, terrified that you'll love me better than anyone else. Are you here to save my life? Or the devil in disguise, terrified that you'll love me better than anyone else before? The rest is history and I couldn't be more happy for the both of you. You learn to grow with each other. You learn how to leave a bar before it closed. Honestly, you make each other better and Kelsey and I couldn't be happier than to be a part of it all. Here wouldn't want to join me and raise their glass in a toast to a very long, happy, healthy, and future together. Lots of love. And join me in wishing the beautiful newlets, newlyweds endless love and laughter for all the years to come. Cheers. Save my life. 